we're going to be producing an artwork in the style of a Native American artist called Norval Morisot. I'm really excited about this project. I think it's going to be amazing. But first of all, let's find out a little bit more about this artist. Norval Morisot, whose alternative name is Copper Thunderbird, was a North American artist who was the creator of the pictographic style which was also known as woodland Indian art or legend painting. Morisot's powerful works drew on his Ojibwe heritage and religious themes. His colorful works were mainly executed on paper or canvas using acrylic paint. He often painted figures and animals in vibrant fluorescent colors featuring thick black outlines which looked similar to stained glass windows. artwork amazing and so much fun. So the first thing you need to do is to choose an animal that you're going to do in the style. Obviously you could always trace it on your iPad but if you really want to challenge yourself I suggest you draw it in the end. I measured out a half a centimeter border around my page. So your first step is to lightly sketch out the shape of your animal. You want to make sure that the animal fills most of your page. Then start to fill the animal with curved lines and shapes like Morisot did. Also create some separations in the animal, a bit like a stained glass window. Next you need to thicken the lines a lot. Try and vary the thickness of your lines. So you have some very thick ones and some a little bit thinner to make it more interesting. I would suggest that you thicken up the lines first of all, just with your normal pencil. I'm going straight into my marker just so you can see a little bit more clearly what I'm doing. As you can see here, I'm changing the zigzag lines that I had originally drawn into shapes that I found were a little bit more similar to um, Morisot's. So remember with art, that's why you do your sketch in pencil first of all, because then you can make changes to suit what you're doing better if you need to. Finally, have a look at the backgrounds of some of Norval Morisot's artworks and you'll see he uses quite a few curved lines and organic shapes in the background. Let's have a quick look at his paintings and see if we can decide exactly which colours he mainly used. Val Morisot often used primary and secondary colours. So that is what I would like you to use in your paintings today. Think carefully about which colours you are going to use. Make sure that it is balanced. If I've used red here, I might want to balance it out with a little bit of red on the other side. I also wouldn't put red on his face and then red in the background as it wouldn't stand out. So think carefully about where your colours are going to be. Also, don't be afraid of leaving a couple of white areas just to make those areas pop. It can't be too many though, otherwise the work will look unfinished.
first of all, make sure you've gone over all your pencil lines in black marker. Rub out any pencil lines that are still showing. And finally, it's time to paint. Make sure you've set out your workspace with a pot of water, some tissue for wet paint brushes, and obviously your watercolor paints. Now, we're not doing the wet on wet technique in this painting. So we want quite thick watercolor paint. It shouldn't be too light and too watery. So make sure you take a little bit of water, um, get a nice paste going with your watercolors um, so the colors are nice and bold. I would suggest that you start with yellow like I did to make sure that you have a lovely clean yellow. And don't forget to clean your paintbrush really well between colors. You can use the tissue to dab your paintbrush on to make sure that you've cleaned it really well. And now just relax, put on some music and enjoy your painting.